times. Atlanta has stalled at times. Atlanta has looked, you know, bad. But no one wants to take that chance of catching them on the right night or the right day. Like some people have Tampa, you know, or Green Bay, you know, early in the season. They don't want to take that chance. So establishing their run game like they've been doing uh, and and picking their uh, times and their points to go down the field. That's what I think New Orleans would do. Now, on the flip side for Atlanta, their defense is a lot better. Their defense is better than uh, what it was last year. Uh, they will have Desmond Trufant. Uh, it, it is important that you have him on the field. You do not want to go through this game without Desmond Trufant because I don't, I don't think anybody really trusts the the backups. And, and we saw uh, even last week when uh, – what was his name? I, I want to say Keezy. Uh, is, that may be incorrect, but – he stepped in and, and the Vikings immediately targeted him and went after him. And, and that's not what you want to happen. So, uh, because they, they could, they could switch it up, but this defense is a lot better. This defense, you know, uh, I think it's eighth right now, uh, in, in the NFL. So they want to be strong on their front seven. The last thing you want to do is give Drew Brees that opportunity to be his old Drew Brees because when when he's that and he get in that zone, there's nothing you can do. Now, for the Falcons on the offensive side, they got to do basically what they didn't do last week, which is probably, you know, one of the toughest, easiest, you know, uh, most frustrating comments in the world. Get Julio the ball. Just get Julio the ball. Just throw it to him. There was a play last last week where Matt Ryan threw the ball and, and Julio was covered by three people. He still almost caught the ball. I will take that. I will take those chances because he is capable of pulling those, those uh, passes down. Now, I'm not saying always throw it when he's triple covered or anything like that, but you're going to have to incorporate Julio into this game. It's not force feed him or anything like that, but he cannot have two catches for 24 yards like he did last year. I mean, last last week. I'm talking about last year. Last week. So for this game, they're going to have to actually play New Orleans game plan. Two-headed monster. Atlanta got their own with Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman. Establish the run. Go downfield. Bring Austin Hooper into the game. We Austin Hooper is going to have to be an X factor for this team. If Austin Hooper can be effective, it impacts that defense so they don't get to pin their ears back and then just tee off because Atlanta is missing the lineman. Levitri is out with a, a bicep injury or tricep injury. I'm sorry. So he's not going to be playing. So you're not going to have your whole starting, you know, uh, offensive line. So there's there's a lot of pieces, you know, involved in here. And then last but not least for the Falcons, and and, and I'll say this, and, and I've said it before, you got to be a team for a full 60 minutes. You can't go in here, and, and they did it last year at the end of the season against the Saints, but it's just this time ran out, you know, I think on the Saints is that, you know, you have this awesome first half, and then the second half, you know, it, for, for whatever reason, uh, maybe the, the team figures you out, or you take your foot off the gas pedal. I don't know what it is, but it, you can't be a team of two halves. You can't be this great team, the first half, and then the sec, uh, second half team is just like, what happened? Where did we go? Did, did did someone tell them that the game was over? But either way, both of these uh, teams will come to play. The fans will be there. It will be electric. It's going to be a night game. So it is going to be on. So everybody that's going to the game, hopefully you got Friday off because if you got to work Friday, it's going to be ugly because you're going to be dragging Friday morning when you got to take your butt into work. So, uh, but this game, should be a really good game. You know, um, Charles B or Charles June B, 77 Anthony said ATL, ATL needs a playmaker on defense. And that that was supposed to be Vic Beasley, Charles. So I don't know what happened this year. He is, of course, not the same guy that he was last year, but that's who that's supposed to be. If Vic Beasley can be that that that's dis, that disruptor that he was last year. They got a good chance, a really good chance of pulling out this win. 
But you are absolutely right. They need a playmaker on defense. So uh, we are almost done here. And I appreciate you again for tuning in to the Wait a Minute Show uh, with your man Jelani, J.B. Bodie. Uh, Lopan, wake your butt up. And my co-host, Lopan. Indeed. So um, before we get out of here, we're going to do the Big L uh, Award. But I want to say again, you heard me talk about this, but I'm going to keep talking about it until December 16th. The Wait a Minute Show toy drive. We are running this. Our goal is $1,000. We are at three twenty five dollars right now, and we are climbing. So we appreciate guys like Rough Buff, guys like Grego, anybody else who's listening in here, please go to the Wait a Minute Show uh, on Facebook. All you got to do is facebook.com. Go to the Wait a Minute Show. Uh, you can share the uh, the the what we're trying to do. Uh, if you're on Twitter, you can go to Twitter. It's at the underscore W A M underscore show. Uh, you can share it as well. Retweet it on Twitter. Uh, we trying to get this thing out to everybody and tell everybody to support and help out because we are trying to do good in this neighborhood. Uh, it is, it is a, going to a nonprofit organization, uh, who help out kids and families. So we need your help. I need your help. Lopan needs your help. Indeed. Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, please, please, if you got a dollar, if you got two dollars, I'm serious. When I say this, I'm serious. If you have a dollar, two dollars, if, if your bank account says $5,845.57, We'll take the 57 cents. Every little bit helps. So please spread the word, help out. We'll greatly appreciate it. So now, having said that, we're going to get into the Big L Awards. Yes, Mocha Bella's favorite segment of the show. So tonight's Big L Award recipient, and for those who don't know, Big L stands for Big Loser. Uh, now, the... This is for this moment, not saying that the person is a total loser or anything, but there is some loser moments. We all have it, you know, some more than others and some at a higher magnitude than others or or whatever. But it happens. We're not perfect. But tonight's Big L Award recipient is none other than New England Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski, a.k.a. The Gronk. Yes, he is our Big L Award recipient. Because if you didn't see the game, all you had to do, you can just watch the highlight. Rob Gronkowski is going out there. He's playing. He's getting a little frustrated. Tredavious White is all up over him and everything. He should be used to that because they play him like that all the time. Tredavious intercepts Tom Brady. So Rob is upset for whatever reason. They're winning the game, which I don't get, and the game is almost over. Tredavious takes the, uh, the rock back. He gets tackled. He's laying on the ground. And for whatever reason, Rob Gronkowski said, you know what? I'm going to take something that I learned in WWE. And he could, he drops the elbow over the back of Tredavious White head, basically putting him in the concussion protocol. So now here's the problem that I got with it is after the game, he goes and he's talking about how he was, you know, frustrated the refs, this, this ref, that. Well, you know what, Rob, if you got a problem with the refs, how about you go elbow the refs? Because last time I checked, it's not Tredavious, uh, uh job to do, let you catch the ball and do whatever. So if it, and it was a penalty, don't get me wrong. It was a penalty, but the ref didn't call it. So if you got a problem, go holler at the ref. Holler at the ref. Holler at the ref. I'm going to say it one more time. Holler at the ref. You know, don't go taking it out on a defenseless man and he got his back to you. I've seen Rob Gronkowski take people out before in the correct way. If you remember last year against the Indianapolis Colts, there was a a DB that was running his mouth, running his mouth. And what did Rob do on a play? He went in for the block. Rob locked in. He drove the DB back, but he drove him completely out of of bounds and all the way out to, to the cameraman, you know. That's how you handle that type of situation if you want to do it. But to just say you're you, you're frustrated and that's why you're doing and that's supposed to be accepted. And then what went even further was that you had the nerve after they gave you a one game suspension to appeal the suspension. I was wrong. What I did was wrong, but I shouldn't be penalized a game check. 
Well, here how you don't get penalized to game check, right? How about you not attack people from behind? Then you don't have to worry about it. So now you done made yourself look even worse because you apologize for it, but you want to get out of it. And then you don't want the, you know, the, the game check to come out of your pocket. Well, keep your hands to yourself and then you don't have to worry about it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Rob Gronkowski, he doesn't have a history of this. So I'm not saying that he's a, 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 a dirty player, but that was a dirty play. So my friend, uh, Mr. Gronk, uh, Rob Gronkowski, how dare you drop the elbow on someone, put them in a concussion protocol, apologize, get the one game suspension, and then you want to get out of the suspension? Hell no. So, Rob Gronkowski, you, my friend, is the Big L Award recipient. Indeed as well, Lopan. It should have been two games, but it is what it is, and ain't nothing we can do about it, but he served it. Now, let's move on from it. Hopefully, it never happens again, and then we don't have to talk about it no more, and I hope he learned the lesson. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Big L Award. That is the end of the show. Your man, Jelani J.B. Bodie, is about to get out of here, but once again, I just want to tell y'all, the wait a minute show.com make sure you go there and donate share the, the the link share the website to anybody that you think might be down for it it goes to a good cause again a, a non-profit organization so uh i for the winners for tonight grego rough buff truck d congratulations miss mocha bella shouts out to you for joining tonight and i said oh i was sending shouts out to my people dj knox charles june b 77 tiffany sports and heels uh my man said galloway Kesey that's in the building, angry black man that was in the building, uh, Big L that's in the building, Mac Pharrell that's in the building as well, DJ Queen, DJ Nunu that was in the building as well, uh, and, and everybody else that was listening. My man Clutch Talk Sports, IE Sports Radio, the podcast, Brother Sports Network, uh, and anybody else that was listening, I might have missed you. I appreciate y'all for joining me tonight and and chilling with me and let me spit these rounds. So for your man, Jelani J.B. Bodie, host of this thing called The Wait A Minute Show, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here, and I'm going to leave y'all with this. We are going into the weekend. Go to this weekend positively fast. And what I mean by that is that get that energy going, speed it up, and shoot through the rest of this week, and don't let anybody, and I mean anybody, slow you down from your happiness. So, I'm going to holler at y'all. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I'm going to get on up out of here. And I'll holler at y'all Saturday on thewaitaminuteshow.com at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll be right back here next Wednesday, 9 p.m. on the Two Live Stews Radio Network. Low Pan, you ready to go? Huh? You ready? Indeed. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, peace and love. Two things as always. Stay positive. And push forward. Open, let's go. Yeah.